My love for the game of basketball was inspired by my father, Pierre Crockrow Sr., as well as my family. You know, as a kid, since I could remember, I've always been playing basketball, and my family has always been active in my sports, from AAU to youth sports to high school, and now here to college. So I would say my father and my family are the reason why I play basketball. My family got involved in owning a professional team by attending a TBL game in San Diego. Uh, the commissioner of the league was at the game and my father has always dreamed about owning a professional basketball team. Um, so him and the commissioner uh, exchanged numbers and were able to you know, get in contact. And the commissioner loved the idea of bringing a professional sports team, basketball team back to Seattle uh, since you know, we don't have a professional team there. And um, you know, it, was, it was simple from there, um, you know, on getting the rights of the team. Um, so the commissioner and my father worked together and were able to bring a team to Seattle. Acquiring the Seattle Superhawks uh, really was simple. After you know, we were able to talk to the commissioner, he came to Seattle, uh, we sat down, we went over the contracts of you know, being able to get into the league. Uh, the TBL is called the Basketball League. Uh, there's uh, probably 50 plus teams all over the country, uh, probably around eight to 10 teams along the West Coast. Uh, so, you know, the process wasn't that hard. Once we sat down with the commissioner and he came to Seattle, he thought it would be a good idea to bring a team. And so, you know, that's how we got it done. The importance of bringing a professional team back to Seattle is pretty much to, you know, give the community in the city of Seattle um, opportunity to, you know, come and support Seattle basketball. We have a lot of uh, great hoopers in the city of Seattle. Um, and, you know, we haven't had a team for a while. And uh, Seattle's always had an NBA team uh, from since the NBA started. And so to bring a, a, a professional sports team back to Seattle is, you know, good for the city. Um, and hopefully, you know, we're able to get the Sonics back as well. My position as an assistant GM is pretty much to recruit players that fit our organization and our program. I think, you know, having the right guys that fit what we're trying to do. Also to pick the right players that are talented, you know, so we have a chance to, you know, win the championship in, in the TBL. Uh, it's pretty much what I'm doing. It's just kind of recruiting players, uh, making sure our players are in the community. Um, and also, you know, making sure our players take financial literacy classes. Uh, that'll be one thing that, you know, all our players will do is take a financial literacy class um, to educate our players on that. And, um, you know, pretty much just help find guys that fit what we're trying to do. How do I manage, you know, being an assistant general manager as well as being a student athlete? Uh, it's time management. I think over the years of college, time management is, is important for any student athlete, I would say. Um, but being an assistant general manager, I think um, how I manage that is phone calls with, with our team, emails with our team since I'm not there to be there physically present all the time. Just kind of staying in the loop of you know what we have going on, uh, expressing my thoughts and ideas of what we can do and how we can accomplish it. Um, but as being a student athlete, I think you know I take care of my academics first, and then being able to give 100% when I'm with my teammates and my coaches, whether that's in the weight room or in practice, um, is how I do it. I'm most looking forward to in the first season in the TBL with the Seattle Superhawks um, is to bring everyone in the community under one roof and you know provide people with opportunities I would say and then also you know having the mindset of winning a championship in our first year uh, is what I look forward to the most. As what I would want people to know is uh, we have our first trial October 23rd and October 29th, October 23rd at 3 p.m., October 29th at 7 p.m. at Seattle Academy with our head coach, Eldridge Rickassiner. You can register online right now at seattlesuperhawks.com. And I look forward to see you guys there. Thank you. My name is Pierre Crockrell. I'm from Tacoma, Washington, and I'm a point guard here at UC Irvine.